Megan from Makewells. Welcome to my class, Draw in Letters. I'm super excited that Alyssa's asked me to share with you my own approach to hand lettering. But before we dive too much into what this class will cover, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a full-time artist slash illustrator slash hand letterer slash painter. I pretty much just like to make stuff all the time. After art school and a few odd jobs in the field, I taught high school art for six years until 2012 when I jumped full time into my art business, Makewells. So again, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. My approach to hand lettering is based on drawing more than anything. But my belief is that no matter what technique you want to explore, it's essential to learn how to draw first. So that's what I'm really going to emphasize throughout this entire class. You're going to sketch a lot, so get your pencils ready. Now if you love the look of brush lettering and modern calligraphy, which is really popular these days, I won't really be focusing on those techniques as much during this class, but we will touch on them. I have to be honest, I'm not a technique person. When I first began lettering, I bought fancy brush pens of every kind, and I quickly got frustrated. It just wasn't working. Everything was just, just not working for me. So I, I switched my mindset, and I took the drawing route. Flash forward now, almost five years since this journey of learning and growing my skills, I've begun incorporating more and more of the techniques used in both calligraphy and brush lettering when I'm working, but I'm not dependent on them. So I think what a lot of people try to do is skip over drawing and learning lettering concepts and go right to trying to master the fancy tools and techniques. Brush markers, calligraphy nibs, fancy paint brushes, all those things are going to be easier to use and incorporate into your work once you first learn a few things about drawing letters.